Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantProf. Today we're going to solve a DRW quant interview question. Check the description for more quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. A fair six-sided die is rolled. We then continue rolling until we obtain a result different from the first roll. For example, suppose the first roll is a four. If the next roll is also a four, we continue rolling. If we then roll a two, which differs from the first roll, we stop. We are interested in the total of all the rolls. For example, in this case, the total is 10. Similarly, for this roll sequence, the total is 14. So, what is the expected total sum of all dice rolls. Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. Here's the solution. Let i be the outcome of the first roll. We might roll i a few more times and then get a different result and stop. Let x be the sum of all rolls except the first one. So the total sum of all rolls is i plus x. Note that the expected value of the last roll is 21 minus i over 5. This is because the sum of the numbers 1 through 6 is 21, while the final roll is different from i, and each of the other values has a probability 1 by 5. Now, after getting i on the first roll, there are two possibilities. We either roll i and continue, or we roll a different value and stop. So we get the following equation. The first term represents the case where we get the value i again. This happens with a probability 1 by 6. The plus i represents the value rolled on the current roll. The second term represents the case where we roll a value different from i and stop. This happens with a probability 5 by 6. In this equation, the terms involving i cancel out and we obtain ex as 4.2. Now, using linearity of expectation, expected value of total is equal to EI plus EX. All right, note that EI is simply the sum of the numbers one through six divided by six as the initial roll can be any number from one to six, each with a probability of one by six. Additionally, we calculated EX to be 4.2, so the required expected value is 7.7. .7. Let's consider another problem. We have the permutation one, two, three, and so on till 100. In each move, we randomly select two different numbers and swap them. After 20 25 moves, what is the probability that the permutation remains the same as original? Try to solve this on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course, Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory, specifically tailored for quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.